Hey friends, Chris Vandeviver here with Logic Pro Expert. I think many Logic users are pretty familiar with the pain and the struggle of copying plugins from one channel strip to the next. You know, you got like 10 plugins on a channel strip and you got to copy one by one or having to set up the same send and bus assignments to an auxiliary channel for multiple tracks. And you know, you just didn't think about it at the time when you could have selected each one and set them all at the same time. In my perfect world, I would love to be able to just hold option click and just, you know, copy and paste send assignment from channel strip to channel strip like we can with plugins. But in the meantime, there are a couple of menu commands and key commands that we can use to do exactly this. If we just head over to the setting menu, there's a couple of different options. We have copy channel strip setting, paste channel strip setting, paste plugins only, and paste sends only. Now the first two already have key commands assigned to them, while the second two do not. But you can go up to Logic Pro 10, Go to key commands, go to edit, and you can even search for them. So paste sends for paste sends only. I've already set a key command and we can even search for paste plugins only. And I've set a key command for that as well, but we'll just dig through the menus for now. So let's create a new track in this project just to demonstrate. Now let's say that I wanna copy this DI channel strip over to audio six here. But we can go to setting, we can copy, and then we can go to audio six, and paste. And just like that, we've pasted the entire channel strip. So that includes not just the plugins, but the fader and the pan knob as well. So let's now also set a send and bus assignment to auxiliary two here. And we'll just adjust the level to zero decibels. Now let's select DI again. And this time, let's copy the channel strip setting and let's paste. So we can see we've also included now the send and bus assignment. Okay, now third in line here, let's go to setting. Let's go down to paste plugins only. Now we have the option to just paste the plugins, doesn't touch the pan knob, doesn't touch the fader or the sends as well, which is so handy. And if you create a key command for that particular assignment, that's amazing. So just like that, I'm using my key command of option V, perfect. And lastly, if I select and we can copy, and if we go to audio six setting, we can paste the sends only and just like that. So now our send one bus one to auxiliary two assignment is copied and pasted and you can set a key command for that as well. So now the trick is, is just to pick the best key command assignment for you so you can remember it and you can use it very quickly and easily. I love being able to copy and paste plugins and sends separate from each other, separate from the fader and pan knob. It is a much better way of working than copying and pasting, you know, different plugins or having to reset up bus and send assignments over and over again. So I hope that was helpful for you. Once again, I'm Chris Vandeviver with Logic Pro Expert.